Hi everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's for another Maintenance Monday. Today's video is going to continue on with our terminal tip series. So to continue on with things that we can do inside the terminal, we're going to switch our screen to our hydraulic valves. And I'm just going to show you a couple of quick little features here. Um, of course, you know, this button turns on your, your fender control. The one below, if you hit it, um, there's a button here that says linear module settings. So this is for the fingertip control. So you can see how when I touch it, it highlights or it goes gray. So we want to highlight it. And then when we go back down at the bottom of the screen here, you can see the fingertip control there. And if you hit this little down arrow, um, it pops up with another menu that you can change what's going on with your fingertip control. So if you want to shut off your float, you can actually do that in, in one mode here. Um, the only thing that, that you have to be aware of is when you switch that off, you go automatically to time functions on there. Um, but you can see the three different things that you can do. So you can have float, you can have a time function and a time function. The next one gives you just a straight time function with no float. So plus and minus, and then you've got float minus and plus with a time function. So somewhere where you could use this one would be like on a baler pickup where you want it to lift up. You want it to lift up, uh, you know, a little bit. And then when you get to the end of the row, you want it to lift all the way up and you want to run it in float going down the field. So here, if you just tap your control, you can lift your pickup up, you can drop it down, or if you click it past the detent, you can have it in float or in full time function to lift up. So depending on what kind of a situation you're in, um, you can set that up where you have it running continuously or you just want to do it a little bit. But um, just a nice little feature that a lot of people don't realize is in there. Uh, X gets you out of there and you can see it down here at the bottom of the screen. And when you have activated it with this button, then it's available for all controls. You can see that. So no matter where you have that set up, you can go in and you can set it accordingly for each valve. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching.